to do the e sign in Canopy. Um, they just released a template that you can set up. We're not going to go over that. We're going to just go over grab a document and set it up for e sign. So here's our test client named test test. So we're going to go to files. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to drop in a untitled document. Yay. All right. So now we got a document in there. There it is. So we come over here, hit three dots, hit e sign. I can sign here. So this is for me, the person who's creating the e sign document. And yes, this document is blank. So if you want to send it to a recipient, go to recipient, grab the signature. There's no one currently in here, so we're going to add a signer. It's going to be test, test, and it's going to be test at test dot test, which is not a real email address, but there you go. Now, if we add that person and then grab the date, if we need a date, and we assign it to them. Once it's assigned, both fields, all fields are assigned to test. Then we can hit send and it will send it over to them and then we'll get a notification. So I went ahead and sent an email to myself. This is what the email looks like when you receive it. So it says signature test signed. This is who sent it to you. E-sign now. And when you click the link, this is what, you look, what it looks like. And then you say you can view and sign and then you can click on here. You got your signature, add, pick the date, and send. And we'll get a notification that it has been successfully signed. So that's a quick overview of how eSign works in Canopy Tags.